Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It's hard to believe that many of us started, uh, you know, learning computers before there was any kind of graphical user interface. Uh, we existed on the command line, and for years I existed on the command line. It took really uh, the release of Windows 95 to get me away from the command line. And uh, when we talk about a command line versus GUI, we're talking about interfacing with a computer at, at some kind of text prompt uh, where you don't have anything to click on, you have to type in commands. Uh, the command line is still alive in some cases, although it's hidden from a lot of users. GUI stands for Graphical User Interface, and that would be like a set of icons that you could click on, or pictures, if you will. Um, well, I, I've got pulled up behind me here, goosh.org, G-O-O-S-H dot O-R-G, and it's called the unofficial Google Shell. Imagine if Google existed on a command line. A CLI, command line interface. Imagine, and that's exactly what you get at goosh.org. Now, you can see here that uh, I've got it pulled up and it's black. Normally, it's a white background. Uh, it's just I've, I've reversed the colors here so that it show up very well um, on, on this particular broadcast. Uh, so it was uh, done by a guy named Stefan, and he notes it's not an official Google product. So basically, you have a prompt with a blinking cursor here. What are you going to do? Well, it says enter help or H for a list of commands. So you can type in web and then your search, images, and then your search, uh, wiki, and then your search, news, and then your search, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I can type in, or I can just type in something that I want to go to. So uh, let's go type in Chris, C-H-R-I-S. And it automatically searches, and there we go. The first Chris on Google right here. Hello, how you doing? And then I've got a couple of other friends here, like uh, uh, Chris Messina. Is, is a friend of mine, or at least I, I think he's a friend, but he's also a Chris that's found in a top search result on Google. Uh, so I can type in clear, it clears the screen. Uh, let's see, what, I'll hit H again, see what I have. Oh, I can translate from here as well. Oh, video. Okay, so we'll do video space uh, Lego. Ooh, this is something you don't normally get on a command line. I've actually got uh, images, thumbnails of uh, some videos there. We'll clear that again. Type in help. Okay, clear. Wiki, not wiki, my dog wiki, but wiki, W-I-K-I. -I. We'll search Wikipedia for, what do we want to search for? We will search for iPhone. And there we go. And then it shows you, these are, they're basically links. And then I could keep doing this and keep doing this and keep doing this. Um, why would I want to do this? Because it's fun and because it's nostalgic. I don't know. I, I've, I'm a sucker for really cool command line things. Uh, and I don't know if we've covered uh, another product that's kind of similar, although you know more in a classic web search kind of way, uh, a product called Yubnub. Uh, that's another fun one. That's another website, uh, Yubnub. And with that, you can kind of do similar things. You can search the web using uh, short key uh, commands. Uh, in conjunction with that website. But try this. This is a website. This is actually a web interface. This isn't an application. It's a website. Uh, it's just I've got it pulled up full screen right now. Goosh.org. Uh, it's, it's, just, it's just fun. That's what it is. I don't know. And you can even, there's even a lucky command, or L is the, the shortcut for it. So I can just do L from this command. I don't know. Give it a shot. It, if, if nothing else, then you can, you know, really have... Uh, a, a good appreciation for the way the web works today because it wasn't always that way we didn't always have things to click on with our mouse uh, if we clicked on anything it was likely within an interface like this in links l y n x which was a text based or is a text based web browser which i think we've talked about before in the past as well uh, if you know of any other really cool websites like this uh, that kind of put a new spin on a classic like Google or any other website. If you've got any interesting websites to pass along at all, you know my email address. It's chris at perillo.com. You're also welcome to join us in our chat room, uh, which is you know running all the time, pretty much in conjunction with this live video feed that's happening 24 hours a day, 
seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.